everyone, it's Mrs Williams. Today I'm going to read to you a story called The Dragonfly Story. Now, this is a very, very special story to me and I'm not going to be sharing it with every single child. I'm only going to be sharing it with children who I think really need to hear this story. So if you sit comfortably, I'll begin my story. And again, this story is called The Dragonfly Story. The Owen family were feeling sad. There used to be five, five of them. There was mum, dad and three children, Abby, Jenny and Joe. But then Abby died. Now there were only four of them. Life felt very strange without this sister and they were all very, very unhappy. Jenny missed the bedtime chat she had with Abby the most. Joe missed the funny games Abby would play with him. They had lots of happy memories with their sister but wondered, well, where has she gone? Where is Abby now? asked Joe. She's dead, Jenny replied in a quiet voice. But where is dead? Where has she gone? he asked. I don't know, Jenny said. Heaven, I suppose. Mum and Dad overheard them talking. Come on, let's go to the park, Dad said. They went to the big park, which had a large boating lake. Mum and Dad always brought them here to play. They hadn't been to the park since Abby died. They hadn't felt like playing there without her. But today was sunny and it felt nice to be outside again. Mum and Dad unpacked the picnic while Jenny and Joe played with their dog, Darcy. Darcy ran over to play by the lake and Jenny spotted a pretty blue dragonfly darting from leaf to leaf. Look, Mum, a dragonfly. It looks like it's dancing. Dragonflies are beautiful insects, said Mum. It's quite special to see when up close. It reminds of the dragonfly story. Would you like to hear it? Yes, please, Jenny said, and she sat down on the picnic rug. As they ate their sandwiches, Mum told them the story of the water nymphs and the dragonflies. Deep down at the bottom of a lake, just like this, lived small brown bugs called nymphs. They were quite happily scuttling along in the mud in the dark, cool water. Sometimes one of the nymphs would want to cling to the stem of a nearby plant. Ever so slowly, the nymph would climb the plant until it had gone all the way up through the surface of the water and the other nymphs wouldn't see it again. One day, a nymph said to her friends, Do you see that nymph over there? He's going up to the sky. They watched as the nymph slowly climbed up a stem and disappeared above the water. They waited for a while, but he didn't come back. Where do you think he has gone? she asked. Didn't he want to stay here with us? asked another nymph, sadly. When will he come back? wondered a third. I know, said the first nymph. When one of us goes up to the sky, we must come back down again and tell the others what is up there. <gasps> Good idea, the other nymphs agreed. Some time after, that same nymph felt she wanted to climb up a plant. She took hold of the stem and slowly climbed up and up to the sky. When she reached the surface of the water, the nymphs burst through into the bright sunshine. She was tired now, so holding the top of the stem tightly. She closed her eyes and fell asleep in the warmth of the sun. When the nymph opened her eyes, she looked about in wonder. Everything was so light and so beautiful. She looked down at her reflection in the water and saw her old bug body had completely changed. She had turned into a dragonfly. She now had an amazing long blue tail. She gave a little wriggle and stretched. Four beautiful single wings fluttered in the breeze. With a whoosh, she lifted up and flew high above the water. The sparkling new dragonfly dipped and swooped around in the bright sunshine. She skimmed along the water's surface. She felt so free. After a while, she landed on a plant to rest and looked about. She was so happy and relaxed in this beautiful place. She looked down at the water to admire her reflection and spotted the nymphs at the bottom of the lake far below. There's my family and friends. I said I would go back to tell them what it's like, she remembered. She tried to dive down to see them, but her beautiful dragonfly body bounced off the surface of the water. Now the nymph had become a dragonfly. She couldn't go under the water again. I can't go back to see them, she said sadly. I'll just have to wait until it's their turn to become dragonflies and come up to see me. Then they will know where I went and we can be together again. So the dragonfly flew off to explore her new world in the sunshine and gentle breeze. Do you think 
Abby is like a dragonfly now, asked Joe when the story was finished. We are all a bit like the little nymphs living under the water on earth, said Jenny, and Abby has gone somewhere like the place above the water, like heaven. So when we die, perhaps we change into something more beautiful too, like the nymphs into dragonflies, Joe said. That's a nice way to think of it, said Mum. We all miss Abby very much. We didn't want her to leave us so soon. We believe she has gone to a place where she can be peaceful and happy. Just like a beautiful dragonfly flying around in a lake in the sunshine. Mum, Dad, Jenny and Joe and Darcy spent a lovely afternoon playing in the boating lake. Every now and then a dragonfly would dance around them, reminding them of their lively and happy sister. So listen to that story and maybe you could have a chat to your family about it.